nurses, nurse germs here and welcome back to my channel. We are back to our regular episodes of tutorials about dialysis machines and for today's video, I am going to show you how to initiate dialysis treatment using Presenius 4000 ADES. What I like about Presenius is their choice of bloodline since it comes with a drainage bag making it a close type system of priming, meaning no fluid or solution comes out from the system or bloodline since it has its own drainage bag. The advantage of this is less contamination compared to drainage bins are open out in the area and therefore are prone to incidental spillage. If you haven't seen one, watch this video. Let's start. Machine is now done with UF recirculation. In our facility, it's 300 ml UF in 6 minutes, so you're ready to hook this to patient. Lower the blood flow rate to 100 ml per minute, then stop the blood pump. Close the saline port clamp, the big blue clamp, and the red clamp. Disconnect the venous and arterial line. Attach the venous line to drainage bag. Then open venous line clamp. Detach the connector and place it in an accessible area. Connect the arterial line to the patient's arterial needle, then open both clamps, the needle side and the arterial line. Machine usually alarms due to blood pump stop. Click the reset button, then start blood pump. Open the arterial transducer clamp to start arterial pressure monitoring. Observe for any high and low pressure and troubleshoot if needed. You can slowly increase the blood flow rate to a minimum of 150 ml per minute. Once blood passes beyond the blood pump segment, open the heparin clamp and long press the bolus button to administer ordered heparin bolus and stop until the full dose is given. The order is 2cc heparin so I stop until the level reaches at 3cc which means 2cc is already administered. Afterwards, set the heparin early rate. Click Rate button to set the rate while the Time button to set the interval time. Once the digits are blinking, you can then set the desired rate or time by clicking the up and down buttons. Once done, click the Rate and Time button again. The machine will alarm once it reaches the Venus line. This alarm. Close the big blue clamp and the drainage bag clamp, then disconnect. Connect to patient side, then open both clamps of the needle side and the venous line. Click start or reset button and the blood pump is automatically activated. Open the venous transducer clamp, then check venous pressure and troubleshoot if needed. Attach blood pressure cuff to patient's arm. Set blood pressure intervals by clicking menu button. The box should be in green color to be able to set the value. Click the arrow buttons to go to the desired box. Click the plus and minus button to set the value. 30 minutes is my desired interval time. Click Confirm button once done, then click Start button to measure blood pressure. Take note, the interval time should be set first before clicking the Start button for it to work. Blood pressure will then be taken according to your set interval time and will alarm once it exceeds below or beyond the set systolic and diastolic value. That's it. Hope you learned something from this video. If yes, don't forget to click like, leave a comment for video suggestion, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned as I take you with me in discovering nursing career. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.